And you could also put and millimeters. Centimeters and millimeters. And let's kind of draw ourselves up a little bit of a big old ruler. Make it kind of an exploded view. We do this little crooked thing because it keeps on going there. Let's make this zero. I suppose it's going to be there. One centimeter and two centimeters. And then we are going to split every centimeter. By the way, a real centimeter is only about the width of your pinky. I'm just doing this big because if I did the width of your pinky, you'd never be able to see anything I do there. All right. And we take a centimeter and you cut it into 10 equal pieces. This should make these really fine. You cut this into 10 equal pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ten. Each one of those little pieces is a millimeter. And a millimeter, ladies and gentlemen, one millimeter. A millimeter is about the size if you have a actual pencil that you can sharpen on a sharpener. A millimeter is about the size of that pencil lead that there. It's not it's thinner than if you have a mechanical pencil, those those leads are a little bit smaller than a millimeter. There are ten millimeters and they equal one centimeter okay and the important thing that we need to take away from this is this when you measure in centimeters and millimeters and in the metric system in general you always always use decimals and you never, I repeat, absolutely ever, never use fractions. You will never use a fraction when you measure using the metric system. Okay, because the book is, and you'll see how easy it is. You don't need to. It's just it's so much easier with decimals. It doesn't make any. There's no reason to. The book is going to ask you really to convert between centimeters and millimeters. And you will see it's incredibly easy. Okay. First of all, if I just had a line, and my line went from here to here, that's going to be the easiest one. Two centimeters equals how many millimeters? Twenty millimeters. Yeah, that's twenty millimeters. Because here's ten millimeters. And more millimeters than that. Now, what might not be as easy as this, and let me start with, well, let's change it the other way. 20 millimeters equals 2 centimeters. It's the same thing. But what if I had a line that only went to right here? Okay, and I asked you how many millimeters it is first. Well, let's just do the counting. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 gets you to this 1. How many more is it? 11, 12. It is 12 millimeters. Everybody with me on that? You can just count those up. But if I wanted you to change that to centimeters, okay, you know that it, this line is how many whole centimeters? It's 1 whole centimeters. How many millimeters more than one centimeter is? It is two tenths. Now, if you could do it as a fraction, you'd write two over ten, but we are not allowed to do that. The simple fix for that is this two tenths is written as 0.2. That is two tenths. Remember, the first place after the decimal is the tenths place. So 1.2 centimeters. Okay? 
if a line went all the way out to here, that line right there is how many millimeters? 19 millimeters. How many centimeters would that be? Maybe you'll see the pattern here. I had 12, I made it 1.2. If I have 19, it's going to be, David, 1.9. It's 1 and 9 tenths. In the metric system, the only thing you have to do is put a decimal or move a decimal. It started here, it came back one place. 12 millimeters is 1.2 centimeters. 19 millimeters is 1.9 centimeters. Um, 235 millimeters. Guess how many centimeters that is? It's going to be the same digits, except you are going to put a decimal in it somewhere. Guess where that decimal is going to go? It's always right here. No, not be here. That's right. It always goes. You always leave one number to the right of the decimal. This is 23.5 centimeters. Let me get you the, the meter stick so you can see that. 235 millimeters is right here, right here. It's this long, from here to here. That's 235 millimeters. How many centimeters is that? See, there's the 20, and 23 is right there, and it's 0.5. Every point, every one millimeter is 0.1 of a centimeter. It is one-tenth. There are 10 of them in one centimeter. So one millimeter is a tenth of a centimeter. Now, you also need to be able to go the other way. You know, if I have um, 3.6 centimeters, that's 3 whole centimeters plus 6 tenths more, how many millimeters would that be? Let me do it. If I did it on my little thing here, I would go all the way out here. Here is 3 whole centimeters and then... One, two, three, four, five, six millimeters more. My line would be. Have uh, you got to go? Thank you. Yep, three point six centimeters is how many millimeters? Ten, twenty, thirty. Got three of them. Thirty-six. 3.6 centimeters, because 3 centimeters is 30 millimeters, and then 6 tenths is another 6 millimeters, 36 millimeters. Or if you had this, 42.9 centimeters, and I asked you how many millimeters that is. Well, let me give you, let me show it to you on this thing. Here's 42.9. That's, that's the distance of uh, 420. 42.9 centimeters is that long. How many millimeters is that? Look at you kids, you are so sharp. The nice thing about the metric system is to go from centimeters to millimeters, either you're adding a decimal if you're starting at millimeters, or you take that decimal away if you're going there. Uh, what about this? 40 centimeters is how many millimeters? 40 centimeters. By the way, 40 centimeters is from here to here. How many millimeters would that be, Sophia? Four point, I mean, oh. Now, you have to remember, we don't have a decimal here, but we could put 40.0 if you want. So how many millimeters would that be? 400. 400. 400. Because every centimeter is 10 millimeters. So I got 10, this is 100 millimeters is this much right here. 10 centimeters is 100. So you got 200, you've got 300, you've got 400. It is all simply about putting decimals in there. Um, the other thing they also give you is this. Because of that, if you have a number line, The only time that you can ever use decimals, the 
only time that you can use decimals, to use a decimal, it has to be cut into 10 equal pieces. Okay, so if you have a number line, and I asked you to tell me the decimal for that point, first of all, you have to make sure that this is cut into 10 pieces, is it? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. This is how many places over? This is 1 tenths, 2 tenths, 3 tenths, 4 tenths, 5 tenths, 6 tenths, 7 tenths. That's the decimal. Every one of those is one tenth. This is zero and this is one. If I asked you to name this point right here, what decimal would that be? One whole one plus one and one tenth. Okay. If you had a line like this, and this went from zero to one, and that's cut into one, two, three, four, five pieces, and I gave you that point right there, you could not, well, where you're at in the world right now, you could not tell me what decimal that is, because decimals cut things into 10 equal pieces, and that's only cut into 5 equal pieces. You probably, if you were a thinking person, would say, hmm, if it's cut into fifths, what would I have to do to each one to cut it into 10 equal pieces? You could cut them all in half again, right? What decimal would that be now? Nope. How many? One tenth, two tenths, three tenths, four tenths, five tenths, six tenths, seven tenths, eight tenths. Eight tenths. But to use a decimal, you have to cut things into ten equal pieces. And that's why money works, because we cut money in. We cut a dime is point one. This decimal point one in dollars is a dime. There are ten dimes in the dollar. Point zero one. There are 100 pennies in a dollar. We don't split our dollars into fifths. Anybody have a fifth of a dollar? A coin for a fifth of a dollar? No. Although, how much would a fifth of a dollar be? Josh? 20 cents. 20 cents. 